So I'm going to say a statement to you, and if you listen to it and apply it to your life, it'll save you a whole lot of trouble. I wish somebody would tell me this statement when I was your age, but they didn't. You are free to do whatever you want to do with your life, but you are never free to choose the consequences of your actions. Let me say that one more time. You are free to do whatever you want to do with your life. You are, because you have free will. But you are never free to choose the consequences of your actions. Case in point, I have a 2005 Ford Mustang. I've been having this car since March of 2015. I've been watching Fast and Furious way too much. I have. So I got this car and I'm driving back from Cincinnati, Ohio at 12.30 in the morning. I scan the highway, there's no cars on the highway, so guess what I do? <laughs> Take off. I'm going 120 miles per hour for about three minutes. That felt so good too. So now since I got away with it one time, so guess what I started doing? I started speeding. So if I'm on an open highway, what well, daytime or nighttime, I scan the highway. If there's no cars, I take off. I go 80, 90, 100, 120. And I did this for two years. And then back in August of 2017, 9.30 at night, I'm driving back from Nicholasville, heading towards Lee's Town Road, a new circle, scan the highway, there's only one car in front of me. So guess what I do? <sighs> take off. I'm going 83 and a 55. Not knowing the cars that I passed over was an unmarked cop car. Look up, I've got lights in my mirror. So let me ask you a question. Whose fault was it that I got caught? Man, as it is. Yours. Yours. Let me ask that question one more time. Whose fault was it that I got pulled over? Man, as it is. Yours. Hmm. Let me ask that question one more time. Whose fault was it that I got pulled over? Man, as it is. Yours. Technically, I could say that it was his fault. Because he was being a hater. <laughs> he did not allow me to enjoy my fun for three minutes. I didn't hurt nobody. I didn't crash into nobody. I was safe. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, but I was still safe. <laughs> <laughs> really, it was my fault. So remember, you're free to do whatever you want to do with your life, but you're never free to choose the consequences of your actions. Let's take it a little bit deeper. You're free to smoke cigarettes. You are. You can smoke a pack a day for the rest of your life. Why? Because you're free to do that. But you are not free to choose when you end up with lung cancer or a hole in your throat. I've seen it before. So yes, you're free to smoke cigarettes. But you are not free to choose how it's going to affect your body five years from now, ten years from now. But you may say, well, I got a grandparent that been smoking since they was 12 years old and ain't nothing happened to them. True. But I won't take that risk. So you're free to smoke a cigarette or smoke cigarettes, but guess what? You're not free to choose if you're going to be laying up in a hospital bed. Oh, guess what? You're free to drink alcohol too. You are. But you are not free to choose how it's going to affect your body or your actions. Ah, uh, man, I did it one time I get drunk. Well, keep on drinking, you ain't get drunk. <laughs> so you're free to drink, but you're not free to choose if you're going to end up with kidney failure. And to some people, it's all fun and games until you got to walk around with a bag hanging out. As you get older, your speech is slurred. So yes, you're free to drink. Let's take it a step farther. You're free to smoke weed. You're free to puff, puff, pass. <laughs> but you are not free to choose if your weed is laced with something else. You're not free to choose if you're gonna end up with some bad weed and it'll jack up your body for the rest of your life. And the next thing you know, you're like, man, I shouldn't have smoked weed. Man, I shouldn't have smoked cigarettes. That's too late now. Yes, you're free to do that stuff. You are. Let's take it a step farther. You're free to have sex. You are. You are free to have all the sex in the world, whether it's with a guy or a girl. But you're not free to choose if you end up with an STD or HIV. Yes, women who sleep with women, they still catch STDs too. 
Like I said, catch HIV too, so don't get it twisted. Don't think because I'm a girl to sleep on another girl that I can't catch that stuff. That's a lie. Because STDs are passed so many different ways. It's passed through oral sex. It's passed through kissing. So you don't know if the person you're kissing or giving oral sex to if they got HIV. And you are tonguing them down. I'm serious, like, the reason why I'm being so real with y'all, because if Jay-Z can be real with y'all, if Lil Wayne can be real with y'all, if Nicki Minaj can be real with y'all, I can be just as real. Because what's up they feeding y'all, I want to counteract that with the truth. So guess what, you're free to do all that stuff. But you are not free to choose the consequences of your actions. You're not free to choose if you don't get pregnant or not. And if you get pregnant, guess what you gotta do? You gotta choose well. Either I'm gonna have this baby, or I'm gonna have an abortion, or I'm gonna give it up for adoption. All three is hard. But two of them is gonna come with a lifetime of regrets. That's adoption and abortion. Why? Because when I was 22 years old, I got a girl pregnant and she went behind my back and had an abortion. I think about my little girl every single day. So that was raw from being a father. But I was free to have sex. I was. But I wasn't free to choose if my girlfriend was going to get pregnant and have an abortion. So part of that was my fault. That if I wanted to have sex with her, then she wanted to get pregnant, and if she wanted to get pregnant, then she wanted to have an abortion. If she wanted to have an abortion, then I wouldn't be dealing with that pain. See, because all of your actions always come with a reaction, whether it's good or bad. And that's what you gotta think about before you make a dumb decision with your life.